Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to this Bastion Let's Play on iPad. Looks like our little ankle gator wants to talk. Or no. Wanted to stay. <laughs> Got tired of following me. Anyway, last time we went to who knows where to through the cooking pot of Zia. Let's see if she has anything new to say. Never could ask for a song. Nope. What about this mailbox? Will you talk to me, mailbox? Still no mail. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, after a calamitous event, the post office might be a little bit uh, messed up. So yeah, we got the Gravers Achievement Vigil Gravers. thing. They arm the justice. They seemed unstoppable. Yeah, but the calamity stopped him, I guess. Snap. Okay, and then we got the triggers. The triggers. My brothers. Bravest men I ever knew. And then we have the faith. The faith. Mother, this one is for you. Dun, dun, dun. And each of these does have a little bit more lore behind it. Uh, so the gravers never fail to bring the city's justice down on those who sought to flee from it. The triggers, the uh, courage and solidarity of the cells' cavalry was only surpassed by their aim. Maybe it's Kales? I don't know. Ceylandia? Cells? I don't know. We will find out, maybe. The faith. Could the calamity have undone the gods themselves, or is the pantheon still watching over the world? Regardless, I've we have more work to do. But this is something he's done on his own. And we don't have any more idols available. So we can't add more rewards. Hmm. However, instead of the machete and the carbine, we're good on distillery. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's go check if there's anything else we might want to try. Hmm. Good upgrade there. The pike is pretty good. We can bring out the musket again. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, we can upgrade the bow. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, decide. Heroes like that can practically find their own way. Mm -mm. Okay. And uh, as you may have noticed, the effect stacks with previous upgrades. So let's see. Hmm. Do I want to keep this loadout? I did just upgrade the bow. It's one of my favorite weapons in this game. Hmm. I think we've shown off everything else. Bo, you're coming with me. And dueling pistols, I love you too. Hmm. Hmm. Or the hammer. I don't really show off the hammer much. Yeah, we'll take the hammer. It's my least favorite weapon in the auto-targeting segment of the game, considering those are the controls I'm using. Mm, least favorite weapon. Let's see. I do miss the dueling pistols because dual decider is probably my favorite skill. Does high damage very quickly. You don't have to worry about any lag time from activating the skill. And it pretty much it hits much whatever you're targeting. All right, folks, we're going to head out. Hmm. What is waiting for us out here? And I am thinking of finishing these proving grounds off camera. We'll see. Okay, Calford Cauldron. Here it simmers in this unstable area, which once pierced to the heart of the world. No risk of Calford Cauldron ever erupting again, they used to say. Guess they were wrong. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and wallflowers, those are the flowers that protect themselves with their leaves. Not everything Apparently. will erupt in the calamity. Hmm. Yeah, apparently they are not resistant to piercing damage. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. Cauldron boiled over. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. Yeah, 
it's much easier to deal with these little guys now that we've upgraded the boat. I guess not all of them pop up. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. Okay, hammer. Boom. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. Hello? Little spiky guys? Fire is useful. Just gotta make sure not to get burned. Hmm. Well, this might be difficult without the boat. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Sure, we've dusted off a good many secrets out here. Hammer time. But we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. Well, <laughs> I'm stuck. There we go. We're doing okay with the hammer. The unforgiving sense of sulfurous dirt. The taste of air so hot it uh. sticks to your lungs. That was a lot of explosions. Hmm. Uh -oh. We might die here. Uh. Oh. Grenade. Yeah, because of one of the uh, idols we have activated, grenades fall from dead enemies. Nope. I'm trying to get it to reflect back, but only with counter will that work, apparently. Can move with the shield out. That's good. Okay. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. That's right. We're going to have a baby bird back at the bastion. Let's see. I think. Ash hmm. swept aside. The more life we found. is inhospitable as they come. There's no countering the uh, stun here. Well, it's not quite a stun. That's right, Rux. Let's explore this place. Even though you're talking about the past, we'll apply it to the present as well. And it looks like the fire does go through the wallflowers pretty well. It's a good tutorial. Look down through all the smoke and flames. Ah, 
Ah, I missed that one. He's over there at the side of the screen. There we go. We saw it there. The heart of the world. The heart nothing there, not a glimpse. Okay, and once you've countered, yeah, they'll stop shooting at you. Okay, we're going to probably die here. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jossie Bar. So run away very quickly. Fall off if you have to. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. This is bad. Fall off. There we go. Nope. Poison is even worse. Okay. The biggest stink guy he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. Yeah, this is a difficult one. <laughs> Perhaps I should have used more grenades. Hmm. We're gonna go without idols this time. Say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. Uh, I thought I countered it. There we go. I think we're going to get rid of the hammer for the bellows, if possible. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learn an awful lot from Gopher Calder. No, it always takes care of the first slot. Hmm. Or the unequipped weapon. Right into our hands. Not sure yet. Okay, kid. Let's make it through it. I'm sure we've dusted off a good many secrets out here. There we go. At least we're better off on health this time. Poison arrows work on uh, these stink eyes. And grenade. Maybe. Worked. Safety first. Every grenade, though. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. Hmm. Here's this again. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. The place is inhospitable as they come. All right, hammer time. No, maybe not. Grenade time. 
Oh, I like fire bellows. After all, when we look down inside Culprit Cauldron. Look down through all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. We had to have it. As for the kid, uh. he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing won't oh. let your last stink out of it. Get the joss and bar. There we go. So grenades do not do great damage to these guys, but eh, it helped us clear them out faster. The kid's thinking he's got a trick all the way back around the cauldron. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Get out of there. guy has ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Where there's one stink eye, there's always more. You know it, Rux. You know it. Yeah, and these thorns hurt. Try not to step on them. As I have been doing to my chagrin. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed any tears, won't go. Spyglass, he can still see the cauldron from the city. When all the fires died out, there's nothing left of it. So, yes, getting rid of the idols makes things a lot easier. <laughs> he comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. Yup, oh, hey, Zia. We're going to ask about this little mess from Colford Cauldron. Do you know if this egg's supposed to be making a muffled chirping sound? We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Yay! Now we have a feathered friend. Hello. Wait. I could see if it had a name. You have a name? You gotta watch your fingers around that little guy. <laughs> and we're playing by a touchscreen. The shard works like a charm. Okay, so I'm actually thinking of maybe upgrading the idols. Hmm. Or this. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. We're gonna ask about this nest. Those birds can breed just about anywhere, can't they? They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. Ooh. Okay, well. Idol or weapon shop. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Ah, eh, weapon drop. Hmm, we just get the trap for snare. But it's something new to show off, so we'll do that. The arsenal's complete in case we need protection. Yep. The trapper's snare. It's a sophisticated snaring kit that instantly springs open to immobilize foes in the user's vicinity. Trappers relied on this for hunts that didn't go as planned. Sounds like the last level. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Let's see. Back to you, Breaker's Bow. And... Hmm. Dueling pistols, maybe? Why not? Why not? And you know... Now that I think about it... Hmm. I think you may only be able to get three upgrades from just you know, the campaign, and thus we may need to buy some more here. Hmm. But for now, we're going to ignore that. Let's see. We spotted a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. Uh -huh. Well, 
there's Mount Zand. But let's go check out Grady Incinerator. Things too cumbersome to smash at the scrapyard could always be burned here. Grady Incinerator is where we sent off all our trash to be burned or be eaten by the wild. And that might be sustainable, maybe. Okay, and the fire bellows is effective against armored foes such as lunkheads and wallflowers. Seriousness, the incinerator was a dump, and it had a problem with Pecker. <laughs> well then, let's make Last some fried things chicken. Would swoop in and spread trash all around until we started using a fire. But we couldn't just torch them all at once. We had to use restraint. All right, so I'm just not even worried about my health. Straight into combat. Come on. You want to become fried chicken too? Oh. Yeah, I wasted a few seconds at the beginning just, you know, not knowing exactly which direction to go. So we want to take out 60 or more for second prize. Hmm. Wheel in. Let's get our third prize, which is our first prize from here. Oh, words. <laughs> so many mean. Context is key. So yes, that will be our episode for today. Yeah, there were a lot of them. Hmm, maybe they want to help us make a Bastion KFC chain or something. Who knows? But for now, dear viewer, that'll be it. If you like this video and seeing me fail, please leave a like. <laughs> if you want to see more, please subscribe. Have a good day.